Hey guys, uh, just a quick video. Um, Audio Cube is probably my top. Uh, out of the top five, Audio Cube takes the top four, which is great. Uh, I do love this tablet. My son uses it still. Uh, so I'm going to do a follow up on that. It's been some bit since the last video, but uh, I'm glad to see that at least uh, I'm not the only one that enjoyed this little uh, tablet. Um, I have the 50 mini. I don't have the pro anymore, unfortunately, but I do miss it. Uh, so the, the purpose of this video is that for Audio Cube release, the uh, iPlay, same thing, the iPlay Mini Pro tablet, still 8 inches, which is my favorite size right now, um, comes with a 1080p plus, which is nice. Um, so um, my question to Audio Cube is that um, what has R&D been doing the past year or so, or whatever the last one. So I got the um, one version, I got the Mini Pro back in September of last year. So it's going to be a few, it's going to be almost a year since I, so I don't have the Pro anymore. I got the Mini, unfortunately. So, so if you look up the specs, it's pretty much exactly the same. Um, of course, they push the advertisement. I mean, they basically use the same, the most generic stock image ever actor and they just photoshop the tablet blah 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 i mean the 50 was perfect um for me at least it comes with 1080p in a 8 inch 8.4 uh tablet size which is great uh do youtube videos and watch tv and so forth not tv i read books on it um the only reason i would definitely uh get the um, the only reason i will get the 60 pro if you really need it would be <clears throat> probably updated um, OS. Uh, look, looks, looks like it runs Android 14, same processor, which I would I was hoping they would uh, bump it up somewhere. I don't know, they should definitely do like the Qualcomm's, um, the Qualcomm chips, like on the low end Android phones, which is great. Still eight gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage. Uh, probably for me, the most important is I still kept the uh, 4G LTE, so like my son has the 4G LT one, so I've just popped in the SIM card from T-Mobile data plan. I get 30 gigs for 15 bucks a month, so he's satisfied in the long car rides and so forth. Um, I would definitely ignore the i60 Mini Pro. Amazon has it. If you're still on the fence on it, I, I don't blame you. It's unknown manufacturer quality insurance is still probably my number one concern for these uh, unknown manufacturers and so forth. So Amazon, you can get it through Amazon. Looks like it's 160. Uh, 160 uh, price. Of course, you can always return it if it doesn't satisfy you, which is very important. Take advantage of that. Um, looks like some of you guys did leave comments about the audio cube. Only a few of them actually said that um, it doesn't work. Uh, some some other stuff too, but um, ignore the and ignore the six. The, the, the I play sixty. Don't buy it unless you really need the updated OS. I don't know why Audi Cube doesn't go back and update their tablets. They'll get you basically get minor small updates. I think I got one or two minor uh, updates. But I was I really I was I was really hoping for like a Android thirteen or fourteen update, but I think mine's run on twelve. So if you want to pay the extra money, go for it. I got my mini from the uh, Facebook Marketplace for like $60 used, regular version, non-pro. Um, they're probably still scarce out there. So And Audio Cube always runs a sale. So don't buy Do not buy it. Just buy the i50 Play used somewhere if you need to buy it. It's probably the same. It's the same experience, same processor, same RAM. Same features, just a newer operating system too. Uh, there was, I think there was a picture here too. Um, and there's not much coverage on YouTube, unfortunately. What I plan to get it? No, it's probably one because I don't want to buy it again because it's basically the same tablet. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.